Hi guys! So you're probably wondering why I'm wearing the same clothes again and the same makeup again. It's because I filmed two videos in one day and that's because I am super busy and my sock's falling off my foot and I hate that feeling. Um, so I just had to do that. So I'm sorry guys because I find it annoying when people film two videos in one day. Is that just me? I don't, I don't know why. I just like to see them in different clothes with different makeup on. I think that may just be me. I hope it is just me and you guys don't mind. But if you do, well, I'm sorry. Okay. But anyway, I'm going to be doing the Q&A because it's just taking me forever to get round to doing it and there's like a lot of questions and there's some, inter inter uh, there's some interesting questions there so I thought that I'd answer them. So, let's start with Grace. So Grace, I think, is Omole. Am I right? If I'm right, then please, you have to congratulate me because I am so bad with names. But she said, have you ever thought about getting any more tattoos? Yes or no? <laughs> I do want more. But they're so painful and I'm such a wuss, it's like, oh. And I don't know what I would get and I don't know where I would get it, but I do want more. I do want more, definitely. I think when I, as I have more kids, I'm going to, like, continue. No, I can't continue. <laughs> That's so dumb. It's, like, loads of names. Well, I'm not going to have, like, 20 kids. But, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I do want more tattoos, but I don't know what tattoos. Oh, I'm really bad at this already. Ali Morgan said, How are you getting on with your midwifery clause? Plus, how are you finding it being a mummy and student? I would love to go back to education and become a midwife. Before I answer that question, Ali, you can go back to education and become a midwife. You can do it, because trust me, if I manage to do it and I'm the most unorganised, all over the place person you'll ever meet, I manage to do it. So trust me, you can do it. It takes a lot to build up to actually do it, but then once you're doing it, you're just rolling. <laughs> I hope I haven't got lipstick on my teeth because that won't be pretty sad. So yeah, um, the course is really good. It is really, really intense. Like people always said, like nursing course, any sort of medical course, related course, is very intense because of the fact that you've got placement and theory. So it is very intense. It is very tiring. I'm still getting used to it. I don't think I'm ever going to be used to it. <laughs> But it is also very rewarding and it is really lovely to meet mothers and meet so many different types of people from so many different walks of life and different cultures and I just love meeting new people anyway. So I'm really enjoying it so far and I mean I love helping the women as well. It's, it is really rewarding and if you are thinking of going for it and doing this then I would say 100% do it because even though this course is like really intense and tiring, it is something that I enjoy doing and I don't usually enjoy things that make me tired because I'm quite a lazy person, but this I am really enjoying. It is especially tired with a child. I have to wake up like extra earlier because I have to like take him to the childminder and then I have to go and travel to uni or travel to placement. So it is definitely more tiring than when you come back and you just wanna go to sleep. You can't because you've gotta like cook dinner, put into bed, all of that malarkey, and then you can go to sleep. But it is rewarding. It is so worth it in the end, it's so worth it. Eternal Nyapi. Did I say that right? Said, how and when did you start being a YouTuber? I am 94 and I really want to start doing makeup vlogs videos, but I don't know how to start and if I'm good enough. Do you get hate? Love your <laughs> love your videos, you're super cute and sassy. <laughs> um, thank you. I'm assuming you mean by your 94 that you were born in 94? I don't know. If not, you are 94. I'm not trying to offend you, but I just find that absolutely amazing. Yeah, I don't think my grandma would be able to use a laptop, so if you are 94, that is really cool. And if that is the case, then you should totally go for it, because, like, that is really interesting. I would love to see someone older do the makeup, but I have a feeling you mean, like, you're born in 94. So I've been wanting to do YouTube for years. I think since... 2010, so that was like five years ago, I've been watching YouTube videos thinking, oh, this would be fun, I would like to do it. But I was always scared, like, oh, people are going to think I'm crap, people are going to take the mic, people that I know are going to see the videos and be like, hey, she think she is. But then eventually I was like, do you know what? I want to do it, so I'm just going to do it. So I just did it. So I only started YouTube, I keep on saying nine months, but I feel like I've been saying nine months for a long time. So I reckon it was about a year ago now that I started doing YouTube. And the first way that I started is I bought a camera that was decent. And I started filming by sitting on my bed, putting my camera on my window ledge when it, the sun was like, at, it was like 12 o'clock, so the sun was at its highest, so I got the best lighting. That's how I started doing videos. I mean, it's only recently that I got the lights, as you guys know, I think it was like three favourites ago, and I was showing you the lights, and I was really excited about them, which I do love them. But I mean, you don't need the lights. The lights are just easier for me because it means I can film at night time because I don't have time in the daytime to do film. So I just think 
you should go for it. Everyone's good enough to do it. There's no, I feel like there's no standard, well there shouldn't be any standard about how you look or what kind of makeup you like on YouTube because this is going to be your channel and how you want to express yourself and you will find that you connect with some people and you don't connect with some people and the people you don't connect with they can just keep on walking and find other people on YouTube and the people they do connect with you get to become friends with and build up friendship with which I think is great and you know if you would like to start doing makeup videos then just do it like the worst that's gonna happen is what nothing can happen like nothing bad can happen to you you're not gonna get arrested you're not gonna die no one in your family's gonna die nothing bad is gonna happen from you doing the video only good can come from it and you can discover if you really like and enjoy doing it if you do like it and you keep on going at it you'll get to meet some really cool people and I don't think there's anything negative that you can take from meeting cool people so I would just say no girl do I get hate yes I get hate but I don't get a lot of hate and I, I don't think it's because like I'm unhateable or I'm above everyone I think it's because I'm not at that level of like I haven't got that many subscribers and that many views for I feel like when you start to get hate hate when you get hate that's when you're doing something right so I feel like it's only the big youtubers that get a lot of hate and they get a lot of mean comments and stuff like that and I think that's just literally because out of every 500 people there's one idiot and if you've got 2,000 people, not 2,000, if you've got 2 million people subscribed to you that's quite a few idiots that are subscribed to you whereas with me because I've only got um, 18,000 there's not that many idiots in the ratio if that makes sense or in the, in the, in the views but it doesn't bother me because a lot of the comments make me giggle I think it would bother me if the person was to say it to my face and I saw them in person but because it's behind a computer screen it's quite unrealistic to me and I don't take it to heart because yeah if I did then I'd probably give up and that is not the plan here. Judith Tova said when did you start wearing makeup? Um, I think this will quite this will surprise quite a few people because it wasn't actually that long ago. So 2010 I started getting into makeup I bought like a concealer palette from eBay that just had like literally every shade and I started playing around with contour and highlighting. I only learned how to do eyeshadow like a year and a half ago. It was very recently I got into makeup. I mean I didn't wear makeup when I was 16, 17, 18 19. I started wearing makeup when I was about 20. So it was only recently that I've actually really got into it. I regret not getting into it when I was younger because I would have absolutely loved it. But I just never grew up around makeup. My mum, she's not in, she's not a girly girly woman. So I was never around makeup if that made sense. So to me, I just didn't really know much about makeup. Yeah, and it was YouTube that opened my eyes to how creative and fun it could be. And now I just enjoy painting my face. Hey, Sha said, what's your ethnicity? You're so pretty, I'm crying, love your videos. Oh, thank you, girl. You is pretty too. <laughs> so I had to like, look, cause your picture is like a full body picture. So my ethnicity is, my daddy is Malaysian and my mother is English. So I'm half of those two things. Just want to watch videos commented and said oh i have a few questions sorry if you've already answered i'm new around here it's okay girl welcome how tall are you so i am i think i'm five foot four i'm not tall i'm pretty short and where in the uk are you from i am from the outskirts of london so lissy thomas said was wondering how you've coped with being a young mum you are gorgeous by the way Thank you, girl. You guys are so nice on here. You're so nice. Why are you so nice? I don't deserve this niceness. Being a young mum is not easy. Most people know, but I, I guess unless you're a young, young mum, you don't realise how difficult it is. This is not something I would suggest to someone to do. How did I cope? I don't know how I coped. I think it was just one of the things where I had to get on with it. I had to provide to him. I can't give up on him. I didn't feel like I could give up on him because he's a whole life. How I act and how I live my life is going to affect how he grows up and what he experiences and how he views things and what he decides to do with his life. So you had to, you have no choice but to get on with things. But that being said, it is very, very rewarding and I do love being a mother and I wouldn't change it for the world. Although I would have had him later if I could have. But I don't regret him. But that doesn't make sense. But I hope you guys get what I'm saying. I'm not trying to promote teenage pregnancy at all. I'm not saying that you should get pregnant at a young age at all. I'm just saying that these things do happen. Although you shouldn't go out of your way to make this happen until you feel you're in the right situation to do so. 
Um, and even if you do, really, really think about things and really reassess everything that's going on in your life and decide if this really is the right time to have a child because a lot of people feel like it is and then when they actually see that positive pregnancy test they realise that it's like oh crap I'm going a bit carried away there <laughs> so really do take time to think about things um, but I'd also like to add guys if, if any of you are pregnant and you want someone to talk to feel free to message me on Instagram. My Instagram is always linked down below in the description bar. DM me and we will chat. I'm always here to chat. If there's any teenagers that are pregnant right now, you're scared to tell your parents, you don't know what to do, or you've got the baby, you're feeling lonely, or, or anything, guys, message me and I'm always here to talk. I love to talk, as you probably can tell. <laughs> um, so yeah, don't ever feel like you're alone in this. Even if I am just someone behind the screen that you've watched a video of, I, I'm still here for you guys and you, if you guys ever want to talk, I'm always up to talk, don't don't think I won't bother, she's just saying it for the sake of saying it, I'm, I genuinely mean it. Um, so yeah, but I thought I'd just put that out there because I don't want you guys to think that I'm promoting teenage pregnancy, I'm just saying that these things do happen and I'm trying to show people that not everyone ends up the same way and that you know if you are pregnant it's not the end of the world. You are going to live your life. You're getting a blessing. And things do get better with time. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to put that out there quickly to you guys. Uh, Genesis Almeida, Almeida. Oh, you're pretty girl. Um, she said, when it comes to buying makeup, how can you tell from bad quality versus good quality? How can I tell? First of all, swatching. Like, swatch. Don't buy something if there's no way to swatch it unless you want to take a leap of faith. But obviously... The like, return policies are different over here when they are in different countries. So if you're in a country where you can just return everything, then, you know, I would, <laughs> I'm quite happy I don't live in a country like that because I'd literally just buy everything and then just return the things that I don't want. But swatching is definitely good. I mean, with eyeshadow, it should feel smooth, it should feel buttery. If it feels chalky, it's going to be flaky. It's not going to last in your eye. Check for the pigmentation. If you're wearing, if you're trying foundation to put it on your face, do not look it in the shop because for some reason they've all got magical lighting which makes it look like... The foundation's your colour, and I used to go, oh yeah, it's my colour, let's buy it, and then I go out home, and then I put it on, and I'm like, what? I look like an orange, or I look like a ghost, what What happened? So definitely, get them to put it on, carry on shopping, wait for it to oxidise a bit, go outside, take a good look, and then buy it if it's your colour, because you'll be surprised how well something looks like it's your colour, and then when you actually go outside, it's not your colour. It's really weird. I don't know what lighting they use. I would like their lighting for my filming because then I could just put on anything on my face and it would look my colour. That'd be great. The... <laughs> the Dye Leela. The Dye Leela. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so bad. She said, do you like tomatoes? Yes, I do. I love tomatoes. I absolutely love tomatoes. I have tomatoes on everything and in everything and probably no one even cares about why or how or why anything about tomatoes but I really love tomatoes so comment below if you like tomatoes too Jasmine Sally Sally and she says how much do you earn now a lot of people put Q&A my plastic surgery my relationship status how much I earn and then you watch it I remember watching it before I started YouTube and then they're like well I wouldn't tell you how much I you wouldn't ask me how much I earned if I was this that or the other so I don't feel I need to tell you I think that's a load of nonsense like I don't mind telling you guys how much I earn at the end of the day the money that I'm earning is because of you guys so I'm not really bothered it's not like you're gonna be like okay I'm unsubscribing but I'm not watching your videos ever again because I don't want to get money like I, I don't know I just I don't, I don't have a problem sharing with you guys how much I earn. So on a good month I earn about 200, on a bad month I earn about 70. Um, it depends on how many views I get that month and it depends on how many of those views happen to be a view that would earn me money. Um, it does vary sometimes, not just on the views. Some Usually a thousand views is about one pound. So yeah, but it does vary because like I said, I think I've only got altogether a quarter of a million, no I've got more than a quarter of a million views, but I earned 200 one month and I didn't get 200,000 views that month, does that make sense? So it does, wait is that even a right calculation, I don't even know if that's the right calculation, but it does vary, but on a good month, about, on a good month I get, I've got up to 250 before, on a bad month I've 
got 70. When I first started out, I didn't make anything for the first like five months. I think I was making like one pound, two pound. It wasn't enough for me to even have it transferred into my bank account. So it does take a while to start earning money. But I'm not doing this for money anyway because I just enjoy doing this. I'm not going to turn away money because that means I can buy more makeup, which means I can review more makeup, which means that we can discuss about makeup and there will just be more makeup and just makeup. And like I have an excuse to buy makeup. So, yes. <laughs> Tay, Tay, Tay Bel Belfort said, uh, first you're gorgeous as always. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is so weird getting compliments and reading them out like to you guys like this is a really weird situation right now um but she said my question is how long did it take before you felt comfortable before in sitting in front of the camera it definitely took a little while if you saw in my first videos i'm, I'm like when i look back at them i'm like oh my god like why was i like this i'm like that's the one i'm using my because i just felt really awkward i didn't feel like i was connecting with you guys because especially for the first few videos there wasn't hardly anyone to connect with there was no one really watching me so i didn't really connect with anyone um but now now that i like read your comments and like i feel like we conversate i feel like now i'm actually talking to people um and i definitely feel more comfortable in front of the camera as you can see i'm opened up more and i'm talking how i would talk to my friends now so yeah it took me it took me a little while it took me a little while it took me a few months but i got there becky dixon said have you had any plastic surgery well at the time of the question no <laughs> but today yes <laughs> and I was waiting for this. This is actually the first video. Well, my favourite is going to be up before this, but I'm wearing the same shenanigans going on that I'm showing my new. Well, I wouldn't say it's not surgery, but my new thing. Um. So yeah, I basically when I was younger. Let me just give you an outline first before you start judging me. When I was younger, I fell down the escalator and I split my lip like in half, and it could just like. And it got stitched up. Um, I lost a lot of tissue in my lip. So my lip shape changed. And if you go back on any videos where I'm like putting lipstick on and you can see my lips bare, you will notice there's a scar and my lip lines are not equal. And I always wanted them to be equal. I didn't think there was a way around it. And then I heard that doing injections, lip injections, you can make them equal. Um, so I thought that was great. And also, I don't mind the fact that you know, making my lips a bit bigger because I like big lips and so, you know. Um, so, yeah, I went and got that. That was only last week, though. So, yeah, now I do have plastic surgery. That's so weird. No, it's not plastic surgery. Is it plastic surgery, guys? I guess so. Well, I had something changed on me, so I guess it's classed as plastic surgery. So, I've had plastic surgery. That sounds so weird to say. I never thought I'd say that. But, yeah. If you would like an experience, like, uh, an experience video, what, like... I went through and how it went and like how my lips swell up and like my best friend decided to go to labour and go to the hospital and I had to go down with a scarf around my mouth and I had security following me around thinking I was going to do something crazy and so I had to take the scarf on to show them my lips and they thought I'd been beaten up and I was like no, just got lip injections and they looked at me like oh my gosh, <laughs> why did you do that? And I was like sorry guys, got to go, my friend's in labour. <laughs> Everyone was just looking at me. Be no, that's not what I was saying anyway. But if you would like, uh, like a whole experience video about like how I was to get lip fillers and all of that monarchy, then I will do that for you because like I watched like five hundred before the night before I got my lips done. And I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Um, so yeah, if you like that, let me know and I'll do it. I think there's enough questions for now because I think the video is like half an hour long and that's like really long and I don't think anyone's even gonna watch it anyway. But I'll upload it. Um, might cut it down a bit because I do talk a lot of nonsense, like I'm doing right now. Um, but thank you for watching, and if you guys found this interesting as well, please comment down below, and I will do more Q&As, or if you just want me to stick to the makeup and, you know, mind my own business, then I'll do that too. So, yes, I will see you in my next video. Bye!